Hey beautiful, mabuhay, and welcome to Jay's Nest. Today is a Jay Jabbers, and if you're not familiar with a Jay Jabbers is, a Jay Jabbers is just a series I do here on YouTube, which is just random. I take a random topic from the clock diving community, and we just talk about it. It's pretty impromptu, but it's more of just a chatty chat video of my own experiences with cloth diapering and just sharing that with you guys. So today I want to talk about my best tips for newborn cloth diapering. If you're wanting to newborn cloth diaper, here are a few tips that have worked for me, and they're just tips that I see in general. What are my best tips? Okay, tip number one, boosters, okay? Boosters can be many things. I just made a video about this. I'll link it down below, how to boost your newborn diapers without the bulk. This is a piece of advice. I think it goes for even your one size dash. And the reason why I say this is because as your child gets older, they're gonna pee more. And so being prepared for that with extra inserts and extra boosters is so important. I definitely recommend cotton bamboo or hemp inserts. Not really charcoal bamboo because some charcoal bamboo is actually just microfiber. I made a video about that last year or the year before. I'll link it down below. I cut open a charcoal bamboo insert. That is not to say that all charcoal bamboo is microfiber, but a lot of them are. But boosting your diapers is really important. I love these little Geffen newborn hemp inserts. I talk about them all the time but I love them, I bought them used, they're so holy now. <laughs> but they have been a lifesaver in my stash, my newborn stash and my one size stash, I love them. Um, a lot of brands do sell newborn inserts, they don't have to be necessarily that brand because these can be pretty pricey. They do have a good resale value, but these can be pricey. So I know that's not in everybody's budget. You can use baby washcloths. These work really, really well in your diaper stash. They help boost the diaper without being really, really bulky. And it's a good way to repurpose things around your house. Another thing you can do is just use cloth wipes to boost the absorbency of your newborn diapers. This is a great option if you're already using cloth wipes. This is a flannel wipe. This is a two layer flannel wipe. It's not gonna be as absorbent as a bamboo wipe. Bamboo wipes, soft, luxurious. This one's from Gravia. This is going to be really absorbent in a newborn cloth diaper compared to just one made out of flannel. So that's something to keep in mind. And then you can also use little hand towels. These would be a little bulky. Um, they are a little bulky in my opinion. I think I got a 12 pack for like 350 or something like that at Walmart. Very, very affordable if you're needing boosters for both your one size stash and your newborn stash. Again, since this is a towel material, you might want to consider putting a fleece liner against it so that your baby doesn't have this towel against the skin. I just imagine that's not comfortable. You would just have to experience that and see how your baby reacts to that. No hard rules to this. No hard rules to this, okay? <laughs> we don't need to make it more complicated or harder than it is. Just observe your baby and how they react to different things and adjust from there. Another tip that I have for newborn cloth diapering is to get diapers that are both in between sizes. So in between the one size and in between the newborn sizes. So most newborn cloth diapers stop fitting at about 12 pounds, okay? Most are only advertised to fit from six to 12 pounds. That's an average. Every brand is a little different, but that's kind of the average. About six to 12 pounds is the size of a newborn diaper. However, there are diapers that can fit a newborn, but will fit up to like 16 to 18 pounds. So we're talking about thirsty size one covers. We're talking about blueberry newborn covers. We're talking about, I think even apple cheeks size one covers. Those are diapers that can fit a newborn but they're also diapers that will fit well past that 12 pound range. And so if you are unsure how much your baby is going to weigh or how fast they're gonna grow, or if you even want to invest in newborn cloth diapers, maybe invest in those, what I would call the in-between diapers. So I really loved the Thirsty size one covers. I made a review on all of Thirsty's newborn covers. I'll link it down below. I go over the newborn cover, the extra small cover, and the size one cover. We started using the size one cover at about seven pounds and I loved it. Um, that's definitely a cover I would absolutely recommend for people. The downside about Thirsty's covers is that the TPU is really thin and some people don't like that. When I cloth diapered my two other children, I did not like Thirsty's covers because of how thin they were. But with my youngest, I really liked it. So. Some people like them, some people don't like them. And most one size diapers start fitting at about 10 pounds. I personally think one size diapers fit best starting at about 11 to 13 pounds without them looking so huge. They look so huge on tiny babies. However, your one size diapers can absolutely fit smaller babies. It can fit newborn babies. Sometimes they just look a little wonky, they look a little big but that's okay. You, you know, whatever your budget is, whatever you have to work with, if you have to make one size diapers work, you can absolutely make them work. Just might look a little big on a tiny baby, but that's it. 
Another tip that I have for newborn cloth diapers, I made this into a video in itself, but I want to bring it back here, is if you are struggling to get these leg elastics tight enough, let's say your baby has really tiny legs, right? Really itty bitty tiny legs. What you can do is go to this front panel. You see the snaps here. Well, behind the snaps, what these are snapped onto, this panel, what you can do is pull up this part of the panel, what we would call the wing, right? And as you pull up this panel, it tightens the leg elastics right here. So you pull up on this part and it tightens this part. And now it looks funky. These are called the bunny ears. You pull up on this side, but it tightens the leg elastics here. So if you have a baby with really tiny legs, you can do this hack and it makes these leg elastics super, super tiny. Y'all, it looks crazy, it looks ridiculous, but if you have to make that diaper work, this is how you make it work. This is a great tip, a great hack for newborn class diapering and getting those leg elastics tight for those cute, tiny, little wrinkly, all oh, those little wrinkly legs. Man, baby fever. I'm trying not to have baby fever right now. <laughs> cute, I just love tiny babies, they're so cute. I just need to cuddle a tiny baby. If you're someone who is using pre-folds, on your newborn, you're using pre-folds with covers. I loved pre-folds with covers in the newborn stage. I didn't use too many flats last time with Willow. Oh man, I love newborn stretchy, ooh, newborn stretchy flats. Oh, they're amazing, I absolutely love them. If you're using a pre-fold with a diaper cover. So here's what I suggest for a newborn fold, the jelly roll. The jelly roll helps keep those poop explosions in, baby, and it makes a huge difference, so. Maybe I can make this into a video in itself, my favorite newborn prefold folds. If you guys are interested in my favorite newborn flat folds and my favorite newborn prefold folds, let me know. I'll just do a video on it in itself. But rolling these, the jelly roll, I include that even in my one size stash. It's a beautiful, it's a beautiful fold to get those leg elastics nice and tight. Or not elastics, but get those leg holes nice and tight. And then you just put this on your baby. The jelly roll is amazing. Let me know if you guys are interested in newborn pre-fold and flat folds. I'll just do that for you guys and just make it make it into a whole thing, right? But this, this is amazing for holding in those newborn runny poops. If you don't know, newborns have some really runny poops, baby. And as much as I love the pad fold, right? The pad fold is this, just fold that shit into a rectangle and just laying it inside of a cover. As much as I love doing this, it's not great for the newborn stage. You're gonna need a lot of covers because when your baby poops, the poop gets onto the cover. And like in this one, it has all these, has good double gussets. And so poop gets into all these elastic places and stuff like that. And then you just have to put this whole entire thing into the dirty pail instead of reusing your cover. Because the cool thing about covers is that as long as there's not poop on the cover, you can keep reusing this multiple times. Kind of a bummer that poop gets on it when you just do the pad fold, but that is part of it. And the jelly roll is a lifesaver. But yeah, those are just some of my tips for newborn cloud diapering. I feel like I have more in my head somewhere and once I find them, I'll do a part two. <laughs> once I find them, I, I gotta dig. This was impromptu. That's a bad thing about Jay Jabbers is when I write it all down, I have a good idea of what I wanna talk about, but when it's just random, I'm just pulling out of the ethers and whatever comes out, comes out. Let me know what you guys wanna see as far as newborn cloud diapering. But I'd love to know what you guys are interested in when it comes to newborn cloud diapering. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.